So just how exactly do you lock a passenger door on a Fiat Ducato motorhome if you've disconnected the battery? So in this video folks, we're going to show you how to disconnect the battery in a Fiat Ducato motorhome. We're only going to disconnect the earth just so that all the systems are down and it will preserve the battery in the cold. It's very easy to do. But then of course, if you want to take the battery out to charge it, for instance, or for whatever reason you disconnect the battery, how do you lock the passenger door on a Fiat Ducato motorhome? Well, the first thing of course is where is the battery in a Fiat Ducato motorhome? Because on our van, it is not under the bonnet, as you would expect. It is in the front passenger footwell, as you can see. So we have removed the panel. Now on this panel, very simple you just turn those and it lifts off very easily i'll leave that over there so let's say for whatever reason you want to disconnect the battery in your motorhome all you actually need to do and it's very difficult to get the camera there but on this earth cable here there is a little gray button hopefully you can see that i'll zoom it in a bit and all we do is we press that grey button, we press the grey button even, when I lose my Birmingham accent, in, and we lift it off. And the battery, well the battery is now completely disconnected. However, as many people have found, that leaves you with a slight problem. No key. We can lock the driver's door, no problem at all with the key. But on the passenger door, there's a handle, but there is nowhere on the door to lock it. Now, of course, you might be saying, well, that's okay. We'll just use the central locking button. Yes, you can use the central locking button. We could just put the battery back on, press the button. It'll lock doors, take the battery back off. There's a couple of possible problems, depending on what you've got fitted to your van. Number one. Although we could get away with it on our van, the 2021 Roller Team van, the central locking also activates the habitation door. And what I don't know, because we haven't got a 2021 uh, Roller Team van, is whether you can manually unlock that habitation door from the inside to get out of the van. Let me know in the comments, folks, if you've got a 2021 Roller Team van and you can open the habitation door after the central locking's been activated. The second problem, of course, is depending on the alarm system you got fitted, you might upset the alarm system because most alarm systems nowadays will be looking out, look, will be looking for a battery to be disconnected, and it will trigger the alarm. So what we're going to show you in this video is if there's any reason you need to remove the battery from the van, or at least disconnect it as we just have, how you can still lock the door on the passenger side of a Fiat Ducato. So it's very technical folks, you just need to have a little screwdriver and then with the door open, just above the latch, there is a hole and in the hole, if you put the screwdriver through the hole and move it in upward direction, it's very difficult to show on camera but we'll do our best. Hopefully you'll hear a little click and then hopefully when we shut the door, It's locked so folks it's as simple as that if you need to lock the door and there's no power to the van little screwdriver does the trick now just to let you know if you're inside the van even with the battery disconnected and you pull the lever on the door the door will open again in fact I'll show you now Got a new sticker for this as it appears to be scratched so we'll show you now pulling the handle opens the door simples now while we're here folks we've got a few outstanding questions from viewers that we've yet to answer so we're going to answer them now. So a question we had from Keith is, can we show the maximum size of the TV that we can fit 
on the standard bracket that comes with our roller team. Yes, we can, Keith. Now, obviously, as we said in a previous video, we've only got a 16-inch TV because, well, the excuse goes, it was in our camper van and I don't want to buy another one. I have seen people mentioning that 19-inch looks too small in these vans. I'm actually not too bothered, so we're going to keep the 16-inch. But anyway, just to give you an idea of what you can do. Now, bear in mind, Keith, this also depends where the bracket is on the back of the TV because, of course, it's a VESA or VESA bracket that's on the back of the TV, which is a standard TV bracket. It's used for many TVs in the home, etc. But it depends where that bracket is for the measurements I'm going to give you. But I'm going to basically give you the measurements from below. So the bracket ends there. So you could get away with up to 400 mil in height and in width if you count i'm only going to count the width of the unit because again it depends where the tv bracket is on the tv and i'm going to say that's 500 mil so you've got 400 mil in height keith and 500 mil in width but again i stress it really does depend unfortunately on where the bracket is on the back of the tv i think i've said enough about the racket keith so i hope that answered your question hello now, Gerald, turn you around a bit. Now, Gerald has asked if we can measure the units in the van. Yes, we can, Gerald. I'm going to start with the kitchen. And both units are pretty much identical, although in one of the cabinets, there is a boxed out section. So I'm going to show you that as well. Turn you around. Hopefully you can see that. So this cabinet is, in old money, it's 22 inches or 500. 50 mil so the height is 280 mil and the depth is as near as damn it 300 mil so it'd be the same for this one except there is a box section i'm just going to check that it's the same and it is there is a box section that reduces the width or the usable width down to 460 mil that's it for that one gerald now there is a little cabinet where the solar control is. I'm going to measure that one now. So it's a little ditty cabinet, 420 mil wide, 165 mil in height, and the depth is 260 mil. So the upper bathroom cabinet is as near as down at 500 mil in width, height again to the base of the door. Is 260 mil and the depth at its deepest point because it actually sloped a bit to be honest Gerald at the back because the van sloped a bit at the back the depth is 180 mil maximum height of the aperture is just under 620 mil the individual shelf depth while we're doing height so the lower one comes up to the shelf at exactly 400 mil and the upper one, 260 mil. The width is 300 mil, and the depth, the depth is also 300 mil. We have an additional cupboard space, or wardrobe as I would call it, and that one is, as near as damn it, 46 inches, or yep, 1,170 mil in height, and width is 18 inches, and that would be uh, 460 mil in width and in depth well the depth is 21 inches or 535 mil that's all the cabinets done really uh gerald obviously there is this cupboard under here next to the sink we'll measure that while we're here anyway so the width for that i'm going to go to that line there it's just over We'll say it's 275 mil the height overall and i'm only going to go up to the cutlery drawer because that's obviously the storage unit space that you've got is 570 mil so the depth is going to be roughly 750 mil can you see me all right there folks so i'm going to do the total height for the garage space first in old money that's exactly seven feet folks 
or 2140 mil at its widest point as it goes further in the width is 40 inches and that's 1020 mil it does reduce because of obviously the wardrobe space down to 20 inches which is just over 500 mil i do like the fact that you can separate or compartmentalize this garage the top shelf folks is just under 22 inches or 555 mil we'll say this one's the same 22 inches 555 mil and then the bottom is just over 36 inches which is 930 mil i like it it allows our two chairs to go back in that's all we do is that hope that answers your query gerald thanks for the question and finally nigel has asked can we have the length of the bench seats yes you can nigel which one would you like first if you look at the one that's behind the front passenger seat just there then the length is 1230 mil for that one so again these are the non seat belted seats that we're talking about here now i'm going to go from the rail where the bed comes down to the cushion base or to the backrest and that is 1300 mil exactly and while we're at it we might also well do the the seat belted seat and that one is 960 mil if anybody's got any questions whatsoever about motorhome life in general or something specific about our roller team 590t line please send us an email the emails underneath all the videos i'm put on screen as well now we love to read all the emails people send us tips suggestions of where to go and they ask some really good questions and we love interacting with all of you um you can also leave a comment underneath any individual video it's exactly it is entirely up to you when i can get my words out so that's it folks we hope you found this short video informative if you did please remember to hit the like button and if not already done so please consider subscribing to the channel it's completely free to subscribe there'll be a link at the end of the video in just a moment and you'll be able to follow us on our journeys when we're allowed to journey again of course in our motorhome and see what we get up to see you soon